Today, we're talking Tennessee wide receiver Jalen Hyatt. We're going to dive into his background and college career, discuss the positives and negatives in his prospect profile, and take a look at his dynasty outlook and if and where you should target him in your dynasty rookie drafts. Jalen Hyatt is a wide receiver out of Tennessee. He's a junior. He's going to be 21 years old at the time of the NFL draft. He's listed at six feet, 175 pounds. Jalen Hyatt grew up in Irmo, South Carolina, where he left quite a legacy at Dutch Fork High School. Hyatt's team won four straight championships, the last of which Hyatt caught three touchdowns, including the game winner in overtime. He graduated as the school's all-time leading receiver with over 3,600 receiving yards and receiving touchdowns with 57. He was a four-star prospect and the 30th ranked wide receiver in the nation. There were a number of schools vying for his services like Michigan, Arkansas, Penn State, Virginia Tech, Tennessee, Kentucky, Miami, Nebraska, just to name a few. I originally committed to Virginia Tech before opting to join the Tennessee Volunteers. As a freshman, he played sparingly, ending the season with 20 receptions for 276 yards and a pair of touchdowns. He followed that up with a nearly identical sophomore season, 21 catches, 226 yards, and another couple scores. Hyatt's breakout came in 2022 when he exploded for 1,267 yards and 15 touchdowns on 67 receptions. That included a school record-setting performance of 207 yards and five touchdowns against Alabama of all teams. It was enough to take home the Bolitnikoff Award as well as First Team All-America and First Team All-SEC. Let's talk about the positives, the things that we like in Jalen Hyatt's profile. The first, elite speed. The dude has wheels. And that makes him a vertical threat. He's going to win down the field on nine routes, posts, deep crossers, etc. He is going to use his speed to win in the NFL. He averaged three yards per team pass attempt. That is considered excellent in that category. He also accounted for 39.5% of the receiving touchdowns in that offense. And he's an early declare. Historical data is very favorable in favor of wide receivers, particularly who come out as a junior as opposed to a senior. So we like that. It's a good data point for Jalen Hyatt. On the negative side, Jalen Hyatt operated mostly from the slot. He had a 90% career slot rate, especially a guy with his speed. We really like him to be able to win on the outside. He's got a slender frame, ran a limited route tree, mostly, like I said before, deep routes. We'd like him to add a little bit more to his game in that area. He struggles versus physical cornerbacks. Part of that's because of his size. And he's got little experience versus press. He's going to need to win on the outside at the NFL level, he's going to have to improve and gain more experience against press coverage. That includes his release as well. He needs to get better and develop his release technique, getting off the line of scrimmage. He's not a threat after the catch in ways more than speed. Of course, he catches the ball in space. He's going to burn you. But as far as breaking tackles, making guys miss, that's not his game. Jalen Hyatt was schemed open often at Tennessee, rather than him just getting open on his own. It's a little concerning. And he had just 502 receiving yards in 17 career games prior to 2022. Took him till his third season of breakout. He had just three career rush attempts and zero career kick or punt returns. We like guys who are involved on special teams as returners, or at least getting the ball on jet sweeps handoffs out of the backfield, et cetera. It tells us that that team has identified that particular player as one of its best playmakers, and they want to get the ball in his hands as much as possible. It's a little bit concerning when a guy doesn't have those numbers, but we can't write him off just because of it. For archetype for Jalen Hyatt, I went with speed wide receiver. This guy has elite speed. Like I said before, he's going to win deep on those vertical routes. And his NFL comp is going to be Will Fuller, another guy who won consistently down the field. He did develop his game a little bit more later into his career, but he's going to be kind of that complementary, 
mostly a wide receiver two, wide receiver three type of option in an offense like Will Fuller was primed as a deep threat. And I expect him to go early in the second round in the NFL draft. The bottom line is Jalen Hyatt's career took a minute to get going, but he exploded up draft boards in 2022 about as fast as his projected 40 time. Hyatt utilized his great speed to create separation on vertical routes. The concern is he relied a little bit too much on offensive scheme and alignment in the slot to win on the rest of his routes. Hyatt will need to develop his route tree and release packages if he's to become a well-rounded wide receiver at the next level. If he can do that, though, he's going to be one of the most dangerous weapons in the NFL. Hyatt projects as a Z receiver who can stretch the field both outside and from the slot. 